What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. Now today, I've got my Insta360 cap on. Not only that, they've also sent me the Insta360 mask and that's gonna be useful when I go out and about. First of all, big thanks to Insta360 for sending over the very latest Insta360 Go 2. Now for quite a while now, I've been using the first gen Insta360 Go. I love this camera. And naturally, as soon as I heard about this one, I was super hyped, people, super hyped. Now this second gen has some amazing upgrades. I can't wait to take this out of the box, test it out for myself and see if it's better than the first gen. And I'm sure it's gonna be. So without any further ado, let's go for the unboxing. Whoa, look at that. Check that out for presentation. Think big. And here it is. Oh, it's magnetically held in place. Check this out, people. Wow, that is tiny. Let's just quickly compare it to the first gen. Slightly bigger and you've got this uh, wider looking lens on top and that's the back. So a very similar design. It feels different though. Uh, similar weight. So let's see what else we get in the box. Okay. Some instructions on how to get started. More user manuals. And here are all your accessories. So we have what looks like a charging case. lanyard cable and a stand and this bottom part does slide out and you have this adhesive at the bottom which you peel off and then you can stick this to any surface you also get a clip-on mount so you can clip this on and then you get a bit of swivel left and right and there is also a usb type c cable in the box i've got an accessory inside the box i just read the instructions on how to remove it so we're just lifting this card up yes i know what this is and the final accessory is actually my favorite as you get a similar one with the first gen. You wear this around your neck and it's a magnetic plate. So you basically wear this inside your clothes around your neck and then you can clip the camera on. Then you can take some great first person videos. So that is everything you get in the box. So I'm out and about at my local park. I got with me the brand new Insta360 GO 2. Now this little camera is tiny in size. So I'm out and about at my local park. I got with me the brand new Insta360 GO 2. Now this little camera is tiny in size, but don't underestimate it. It can shoot 1440p at 50 frames per second, which is exactly what we're shooting right now. And you can see ultra smooth video. So just gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna test that image stabilization. So here we go. So that was flow state image stabilization, 1440p at 50 frames per second. All right, so let's drop the resolution down to 1080p and see if it still looks good. So I've now dropped down the resolution to 1080p and we are still shooting in pro mode, which means you get flow state image stabilization. So the best image stabilization that this camera can do. And again, light jog. And I've already seen the quality. I already know what this camera can do. So, so I am quite confident that this video is gonna be crispy and also stable. Now you also get a very cool looking charging case. So you can flip the lid. It also acts like a tripod. So you can place that inside and the bottom part will give you some really cool looking tripod legs. And then you can place this on a flat surface and then you can shoot in various different ways, time lapses, etc. So really cool, I'm really liking the charging case. The charging case has a tripod thread at the bottom along with a USB-C charging cable. There are also two buttons inside the charging case and a small screen. So you've got three languages in total. You've got English and then you've got two more languages that you can select. So I've select English, language set to English, and then you can choose the format that you wanna shoot in. So video, photo, pro video, time shift, time-lapse, HDR video, 
slow motion, settings, and then you're back to video. Now, let's take that camera out. It's a really cool looking charging case. I'm loving that. It feels like a regular earbud case. So great for portability and traveling around with. Pop your camera in, away you go. Now, closer look at the Insta360 Go 2 itself. So a very small action camera. It weighs no more than 26.5 grams. And in height, that is 52 millimeters. So this is one tiny lightweight action camera, but its capabilities are everything but. So some of the highlight features are 1440p HDR video capture at 50 frames per second with ultra smooth flow state image stabilization. You can take nine megapixel photos. And here are a few photo samples for you guys to check out. The camera itself is waterproof up to four meters with the lens guard on. And if you're wondering, that is the lens guard, which can be removed so you can unscrew it and you can put it back on. That lens guard means you can take this underwater up to four meters um, and you don't need to worry. So that's a huge upgrade from the previous gen. So it is a magnetic design, so you can mount this on more or less anywhere. It's got an easy AI editing app, and you've got that rugged lens protection with that replaceable lens guard. So this camera is designed for hobbyists, vloggers, cyclists, or anyone who likes to shoot creative videos. This camera offers super portability, great for point of view angle shots, especially when cycling, scootering, skiing, and other active sports, giving you an easy way to record footage in a different aspect ratio than what we are used to, and the results are pretty amazing. So quickly show you how this works, how you can actually take videos. There is a button on the front which you can't see, but if you press it, you can hear the clicks. That button is all you need. If you single press, it will start recording. If you double press, it will take a photo. And you've got basically all the instructions here. Single press, double press, press for one second. And it gives you all the shortcuts on that card. Um, another way to record is to pop it in the case. And then you can clearly see that we are recording pro video right now. You can stop the recording. You can change the mode. So time shift, time lapse. HDR video, slow motion, settings, and video. So now, if you want to record, you don't have to press that button, you can just press the record button. And we are now recording video, and it gives you your battery information as well, and shows you the length of video recording. And just press record again to stop. If you don't like the touch button system, which I think is great, you've got that little screen in there, that is a game changer and you also have your phone so you can use it as a viewfinder and start all your recordings from the phone so so many different ways to activate the camera to start recording now you're also getting some great software included so you can edit and share all your creations directly from your smartphone now there is also a feature called ai flash cut which automatically edits all your clips together adding music and effects and creating for you a story highlighting all the best parts now, if you want to edit from your PC or Mac, you can use Insta360 Studio and it will give you the option to export in ProRes mode for better quality. Now, another great feature is Horizon Lock. So no matter which way you go or move the camera, it will always keep the video horizon locked. Now, Pro Mode gives you more control. It lets you adjust the field of view and aspect ratio, but it also gives you flow state stabilization and unlocks that horizon lock feature. And you can also use your phone as a wireless viewfinder to frame your shot. And that will also give you even more settings to play around with, like resolution, ISO, shutter speed, etc. And the great thing about this camera is as soon as you connect to your smartphone app, all your pictures and videos get copied to the storage of your phone. And then you can just tap any recording and you can go ahead and edit it directly on the app. And I'll show you some of the options. You can trim, you can change the aspect ratio even after shooting the video, which is amazing. You can add face filters. 
You can add music and also change the speed of the video as well. So lots of great editing options. You can join together a whole bunch of videos and you also have a great feature called AI Flash Cut, which automatically edits your clips together, adding music and effects and creates for you a story, highlighting all the best parts of the video and also in tune with the music. And that's one of the things that I've always admired about Insta360 is the fact that the hardware is always good quality and innovative, but this software makes things even better, gives you lots of editing options to play around with your video. Now you do have some customization options, a few different scenarios that you can swap around and change. So quick capture button one, right now it's set to video. You can change that to any of the other options. So you can have that doing HDR or pro video uh, and so on and so forth. I'll leave it on video. And again, you can change the resolution. So you could have that set to 1080p at 50 frames per second. So if the power is off, and I'm ready to shoot, and I wanna shoot just 1080p, I know by just tapping it once, I'm gonna get my quick capture one settings going. You've also got quick capture two, and quick capture two works by double pressing while the camera is off. And again, standard photo, night shots, you can choose any of these modes. Okay, now you've got two more options, single press and double press. Now these apply when the camera is on. So right now the camera's on, if I single press the button, it's gonna, it's gonna shoot pro video 1440p for 30 minutes. And if you double press, you can go into time shift at 1440p. And of course you can swap that around to anything you like. So the button mechanism is completely customizable and you wanna quickly shoot a video, select whichever mode you want, depending on how you've done your settings. Attach it anywhere you like, it's magnetic and immediately start recording. Whereas if you use it like this, you're a bit limited to where you can stick this because it's not magnetic, it's a charging case. But the benefit of using this in a charging case is that extra battery life. This will work off the case battery. Now talking about battery, the camera has a 210 milliamp hour battery. That's 30 minutes of 1440p video recording. The charging case has a 1100 milliamp hour battery and that will give you a total of 150 minutes recording time at 1440p. That is really good. If you're low on battery, you wanna carry on recording, chuck it into the case and continue recording. You can use a tripod selfie stick or you can just prop it up using the built-in tripod. I'm really loving the versatility of this product. Insta360 has created something amazing. Let's check out some video samples. So that was the Insta360 Go 2. Now I used to love the first gen model, but I always wanted them to follow up on this, make something better. And of course they delivered. Now the quality improvements, features, stabilization, everything is amazing. This is not a minor increment. This is not a minor upgrade from the previous gen. They made the Go 2 so good. You will not feel like touching that first gen model after you've tested this. It's that good. Now the Insta360 Go 2 is easily one of the most enjoyable action cameras I have used in recent times. Now, I absolutely love the charging case. I love the build quality. I love that little screen on the front. I love the tripod legs. And even that quarter inch screw at the bottom is so useful. Now the video quality at 1440p is brilliant. And even 1080p looks great on this. Now the flow state stabilization is one of the best in the business. Now this is of course an early reviewers unit. I have no idea what the pricing is gonna be, at least at the time of shooting this video, I have no idea. But I will leave the relevant links in the description box so you guys can check this out for yourselves. Now I do hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments like you usually do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, 
Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.